Okay, folks, um, I've been having a pretty good um, kickoff, um, well, middle part of actually March. I mean, my sales have really been picking up here lately. I guess it's because of the uh, confidence that people have in the economy right now with the stimulus checks coming and so forth. Uh, relatively, my sales started off for 2021. Uh, for January and February, I averaged about... Mm, sixty-five, seven thousand dollars a month, somewhere around there. Um, for the last thirty-one days, I have done over ten thousand, and so that's really up pick. And I've been finding good items too. Um, not a whole bunch, but I've been finding some good quality items. But what I'm gonna do in this video real quick is just kind of share with you uh, some of the things which I call my big hitters. I do mostly electronics. And so you'll see a lot of electronics, um, speakers, um, DVD recorders, CD players, stereo equipment, and things of that nature, and stuff like that. So uh, this is my numbers right here. You see right now, for the last 90 days, 24.5 basically, and with 461 items sold. And so let me kind of just go on real quick here with this. So this right here, this item right here. It's so very really interesting. I found it at a um, thrift store, and um, it was a hundred dollars. And what happened? It looked like somebody had was trying to hook it up and test it, and I don't think they quite knew what how to hook everything up because this is an old vintage system. And I said for a hundred bucks, I looked up the soles on them. I said for a hundred bucks, you can't lose, and stuff like that. So, uh, I, it's the amp and the stereo. I sold them both together for six ninety nine and so forth. So that was a very good sale. Packed it well and everything. As you can see, I got a positive feedback. And so I was glad for that and so forth. And of course, uh, I, I let the seller know too that, um, that I was going to be shipping the units in separate boxes. Because I didn't want you no know, try to put them in the same box and they get damaged. There's too much money on the line and so forth. So I shipped them in separate boxes as well. Uh, next here, these are some uh, vintage type ceiling fans that cast with cast iron housings. Now, this is what I call once in a lifetime find. I probably never run across an item like this again. Not only did I find one, but I found two. It was at a state sale in the garage, brand new in the box. It's so funny because when I got to the state sale, this one guy. Um, I'm sure he's a reseller. He was running around the house getting all the stereo equipment. There's some nice speakers and JBLs and some other good brands and everything. He had a big pile. And it's like everything I touched, he already had it. And so I said, I know he didn't get everything in here. So I walked around and I found these sitting in the garage. And I, I, I dealt with seller fans. I looked seller fans up before. I know their value. And I, and I seen that they were cast iron, brass, and they were brand new in the box. It was a no-brainer. And so, this is the second one I sold. Uh, it didn't take me long at all to sell these. Um, I paid $40 each. I, there was 25% off that day. And so, I sold that one for $6.29. Then, the second one, right, this is the first one I sold. Um, I actually, because there was no sold comps to go on as far as brand new. And so, I end up um, just simply putting it up there for like 900 and something. A best offer. Somebody offered me five seventy five, a little better than half what I had up there for, and I took it. Paid forty dollars and stuff like that. So that was a very good find. Uh, this right here, I just found this the other day, yesterday, in fact. Um, I found it at the thrift store, twelve bucks, thirteen bucks. Um, I, I didn't even bother to test it. I looked it up and I seen what they were selling for. People had them listed up there for seven, eight hundred dollars. Some of them had um, attachments to it and so forth like that. And so I tested this. I charged it the battery that's built in, that has into it. And the battery held juice and stuff like that. So I put up this showing with it unplugged with it working and stuff like that. So uh, somebody brought it for me. It actually, is a company that sells medical equipment on eBay. And they brought it for me, as you can see, for basically $500. These, uh, this is from the same estate sale that I got the um, ceiling fans from. These were in the garage as well. Um, so the guy was a DJ. And so he had like stuff like this and everything that he DJed with. 
And so they had these parts kind of pricey at first, like $200 a piece, and they wasn't moving. And so I came back on 50% off day, and while I was in the garage tinkering around getting some other things, um, the, the lady mocked them down. She mocked them down to $80 each. And so I had been grabbing them. People were coming back, looking for them. A couple of guys came back and, you know, was looking for them. And they said, oh, somebody already got them and everything. They were sitting up front and everything and um, um, waiting for me to check out with them and so forth. So I paid $40 each. Uh, somebody brought both of them. And so I shipped them out in separate boxes as well and so forth. So heavy stuff like this, I had to pack it real well. I reinforce it with cardboard corners, plenty of bubble wrap, and all that kind of stuff and everything to make sure they can get there safely. And every now and then I do have issues, but not that often. And then one of the things I do have issue with is this speaker right here. I sold it here recently, and um, even though I packed it well, it was, a, it was a heavy, big speaker. I paid $15 for it from the thrift store. And one of the corners got damaged. And a couple of the pegs on the screen cover, the grill that covers the speaker, a couple of them broke. And that was the only damage that happened to it. And so I opened up claim with um, FedEx and so forth and um, and trying to help the buyer out and everything. Um, we recoup something for it and everything. Uh, it, if it, It's kind of tricky with this one because there's not no real major damage. So I don't know how, how much FedEx will... Well, you know, probably a, a, a partial, you know, refund on the claim and so forth. They'll probably give me, and I'll just pass that on to him and so forth. So, uh, but I wouldn't mind having the item back if he wants to send it back because I can, um, you know, pot it out and still make good money. I only spend $15. I think the speaker by itself sells for over $100. I can pull that and then sell the amp probably for another 100 bucks and so forth. So, that's how that kind of go. Okay, this right here is a, uh, is a recorder. Had a remote to it, uh, which was great. I paid eleven bucks for it, and sold for three hundred dollars and so forth. And so that was a good deal. Um, this right here, I sold this a while back. As you can see, this is last year from twenty twenty. It needed a battery. Uh, I think it had the car charger to it, and so I was able to plug it up in the car and show that it powered up and everything. And I had other accessories as well that I sold separately from that that was on the box with it. And that's why I do a lot of times. I might buy something. And depends upon what's the best way to sell it. I might, you know, um, sell one part here um, for a certain amount and, and, and break it down. Where I end up like four different um, listings off of one item. Okay, this right here is a, a what is it? Reflex Energizer. No, okay, yeah. So I sold this for $225. It was for your feet. It's kind of like, I didn't know how to work it at first. So I had to look up on YouTube and just figure out how to work it. So I thought like it's gonna vibrate or something. No, it doesn't do that. You hook up these, you know, connectors to your the probes, whatever, um, to your leg and all this kind of stuff like that. And it seems a tingle, like a, a, a tingle through your body and so forth like that. It, it makes your muscles jump and everything. So somebody brought it two twenty five. Got a positive feedback off it. Paid seventeen bucks for it. So that was great. Uh, these I found in the thrift store. And when I find them, they're always priced low. Because nobody knows really what the heck they are. And so what I usually do, I pull the filter. Because the filters usually, you can sell them used. Most times they're not really that bad. I think I sold the filter used for like 79 69 bucks. Then I sold the unit by itself for 179 And as you can see, I paid $15 for it and got positive feedback on that as well. Another speaker. I do a lot of speakers, okay. Um, sold for 190 paid 25 And I always test... Uh, most speakers you can test and so I got various equipment stereo equipment and I got other things um, different wire hookups where I can test most speakers that I run across it and stuff like that so that was a good deal as well some more speakers I do a lot of speakers 169 paid 35 this was at a state sale close to me I have I didn't even know the state sale was going on I passed it up and everything I finally stopped in the last day the last part of the last day. And I got this mixer here. It was, the guy told me, one of the guys who worked at the sale said, um, I said, is anything out there in the shed? He said, oh, probably ain't nothing out there. And then I found this. Uh, it was, it was. Um, I got it for $250. I sold for $179. That was a great deal. Uh, this is another foot, I do a lot of foot massage. Um, stuff, medical stuff that helps people feel better with their back, their feet. Um, if you run across the right brand, 
and the right item, you can make decent money. And so you can see I've kind of paid up for this one, 50 bucks, but I sold for $169 and still made good profit and so forth. Um, this I had had it for a while. And I had I had it priced like I think at $300 originally or maybe even a little bit higher because it was brand new in the box and there was no comps to go on when that was brand new. I ended up taking an offer for it for $150. I paid $30 for it. And this right here again, more electronics. Um, so for one forty nine, pay fifteen. Mirror, <laughs> okay, like certain advertisement. Uh, I had sold two mirrors. I got them at the same time. They both seven dollars a piece. I sold both for over a hundred dollars. This is one the whiskey. Um, uh, so I sold for one hundred and fifty bucks, free shipping. And got this say, um, this again one forty nine, pay nine bucks for it. It's a recorder. Yeah, they do great. A lot of you electronic guys, y'all know what's going on with the recorders and everything. Sewing machine, pots and repair. Okay. Uh, paid 34, sold for 150, got positive feedback. Uh, I had picked this up. Actually, I, I paid too much for it. I didn't see the tag and I asked somebody, one of the workers there, how much it was. And she told me she put 25 on it. And it was actually only $15. I just didn't see the price tag on it. But I still make good profit. I sold for one hundred and forty nine ninety nine, the dehumidifier. And this course, um, a shower kit. I uh, paid twelve fifty for it. Sold for one hundred thirty eight. It was brand new in the box. That was a great deal. It didn't take me long to sell it. Um, this right here, it, even though it was big, it folded. The handles and stuff folded in and stuff like that. <clears throat> and um, it didn't cost me a ton to ship it. I already pretty much know that uh, most items. The highest, like from Texas, maybe to somewhere like Seattle, Washington. It gets very expensive to try to ship all the way up there. Some parts of California are expensive. New York, you know, going up that way. New Jersey, New Hampshire. Yeah. So basically for me, from Texas, um, Seattle, Washington, and New Hampshire, Maine is the most expensive places to ship. And so um, I already figured that it's going to be pretty high to ship to them areas. But on average... My shipping is never over 50 bucks on some heavy stuff, too, I'm talking about. So, um, going through FedEx, UPS got some great rates right now. So, I'm using them for a lot of things and so forth. Okay, I got this boy. I sold one of these before. Um, they, they sell pretty quick every time I put them up. I paid $10 for it. So sold it for 129 And fortunately for me, the shipping was, shipping was real cheap because it went here um, to the state of Texas, where I live at. This is a jam box. It went to New Mexico. And that, that saved me a lot on shipping too. Paid with $30. And I sold for $129. This is the workout equipment. I sell a lot of exercise equipment when I run across of it. Um, I have sold some pretty good pieces in the past. It said to be turned. What happened? They opened up a return because I didn't know that it was missing a knob that tightens down up on the bottom. And then the I, I did tell them that 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 one of the grips were missing, one of the handle grips were missing, but I guess they didn't read it, and so I had picked up another one at at a thrift store for like fourteen bucks, and so I just took off the pots from off that one, and I mailed them pots to them just to keep them from returning it, and they were satisfied and so forth. And again, this another um something I paid one hundred twenty nine. I mean, I paid fifteen dollars for and sold for one hundred twenty nine. Some outdoor speakers. Uh, outdoor landscaping lights. Uh, sometimes you find the right brand and stuff like that. You can make good money on them. And this is a, reco uh, a cassette recorder. I just sold this recently. It took for I had it for a while and stuff like that. I just dropped the price down over time. And uh, a lot of my stuff I, I put on sale for ten percent off. And a lot of it started moving too that I had been having for a while. So that wasn't bad. Still made profit. Um, this is a uh, believe it or not a, a sweater. Making kit uh, machine, and I paid twelve sixty for it and sold for one hundred nineteen dollars. Um, yeah, I picked up a couple of these in the store. I paid seven dollars each for them, and the person brought both of them for one hundred nineteen ninety eight. Uh, speakers again, nine dollars for one hundred nineteen. Um, this is a, a, a oh yeah, this is another thing. Um, dehydrators. Um, especially this brand right here. I don't sold two of these. Um, and so this one here I paid $9.75 for and sold for $129. Got positive feedback. 
And I try to, you know, as you can see here, this is my office. Um, I try to keep my electronics neat. Um, I got other areas in my office where I got other stuff at. My garage, I got some of these roll around heavy duty racks. I got about I mean, four of them in the garage. And I got like box items and, and I got crates um, labeled and mocked. You want to be organized when you're doing your eBay business. It really helps to be able to go to a crate. You got it numbered. A1, A2, whatever, and you go there and find that item without no problem and so forth. And so, I, I it, you know, to get to that point and getting everything organized and knowing where you can find it is very key, very important to run a successful eBay reselling business, period. Uh, stuff like that. As you can see, more speakers. I got the heaviest speakers down at the bottom, my subs, and everything like that. So, yeah, also, big, I'm doing this year, making sure I, I use GoDaddy Bookkeeping. And it's working out great for me. Um, you can customize it and so forth. A lot of information goes directly from eBay over there. And some of you got manually input like FedEx. It doesn't transfer it over to FedEx and UPS shipping. I guess because you bill monthly for that. And I know there's change in here. So I don't know how that's going to work. If you automatically go over there. But right now I have to manually enter that. I also keep track of my time. I want to know how much time I'm spending on reselling. And so I can know how much I'm paying myself an hour and stuff like that. So, folks, that's it. Uh, I'll come back out again with another video and dealing with electronics mostly. And I'll talk to you guys later. All right. Bye now.